Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One and my old barn door. And I wanted to come and do something a little different today in light of everything that's going on in the world with uh, the coronavirus. And a lot of people are panicking and a lot of people are worried. Um, and so I just wanted to kind of do um, a video to do my part to try and just calm everybody down and um, give you hope and help you to understand that this is not the end of the world. Um, we do not have to live in fear. We don't have to be afraid. Um, with that being said, I also want everyone to understand that even though you don't have to be afraid and you don't have to live in fear, um, you do need to be careful, you know, um, listen to the doctors and what they're suggesting to do to best protect ourselves from the virus. And so, you know, be smart. You can be smart and not be terrified. Uh, my suggestion is to turn off the news. Um, you don't have to turn it off all the time. You know, keep yourself updated if you feel like that's what you need or, you know, that's uh, something that would give you peace. Um, but I'll tell you, the thing that's going to be um, the most valuable in giving you peace is uh, the Word of God and our Father. And your faith in him and your trust in him this is not his fault this is not his doing he would never do anything to hurt his people this is uh, just a matter of circumstances and so you can either live terrified because of the circumstances or you can put your faith in him and your hope and your trust in him and know that he has every everything in his hands okay so with that being said i just want everybody just to calm down relax don't panic take care of yourselves stay well um wash your hands of course we've all heard that a blue million times um and you know if you can stay home stay home um i haven't been out of my house in probably a week and a half, possibly two weeks. Um, I know that that is not possible for everybody, but uh, for those of us who it is possible for, I would prefer that you do so because I love you and I don't want anything to happen to you and I don't want you to get sick. So just stay home. Um, stay home. Do a puzzle. Read a book. Uh, make a craft. You know, make a journal. That's what we do. We make journals and we love on each other. And so let's just join together during this um, very frustrating time and sometimes scary if you let it be. It can be scary if you let it be, um, but it doesn't have to be. And so I just wanted to come on today and encourage y'all that everything's okay. It's going to be okay. Um, I know if you have loved ones who are sick, um, pray for them. I'll pray for them if you want me to pray for them. Um, but just stay calm. Don't panic. Because that is the worst thing that we can do. And so that's my part uh, in the coronavirus episode or, epi or pandemic. Um, I just want to tell you all that I love you very much. I am praying for everybody. Um, and I am believing for everybody that we're all going to be okay. So, um, I know it's hard sometimes to go on with your, you know, your regular every day to day life in a situation like this, but the best thing that we can do is try as much as possible to do that and to help each other. Um, right now is a time to show love and so, uh, and support and y'all have been so wonderful and loving and supporting to me and so I want to do the same thing for y'all um, so if any of you if you need something I am here uh, if you just need to talk I'm here 
can send me messages on Etsy, email, uh, or on my channel. Um, whatever you need, you know, just let me know, and I will pray for you. So, um, I just kind of wanted to give you something pretty to look at. These are some things that I'm putting in my shop. Um, this is a part of uh, what I want to do um, because I feel like, you know, when, okay, my craft room is my therapy. So, when I come in here, this is very therapeutic for me, you know, when I'm worried about something or if I've got things going on in my life that are bothering me, um, I can come into my craft room and I can turn my, my praise music on or whatever music makes you happy, turn it on and, or turn videos on. Sometimes I watch videos, but I can just kind of get in here and work on some things and just kind of shut the whole world out for a little bit and I'm okay. And so I hope that your craft rooms are as therapeutic for you as mine is for me. And so I thought during this time, I wanted to put some things in my shop that would be um, super inexpensive for all of us who are, you know, trying to save our pennies, you know, because a lot of times fear of the unknown as far as what's coming down the road um, you know, or am I going to have enough money down the road? Um, so things like that. But at the same time, I wanted to do something that, you know, you could, you could feel like you were still, uh, having a normal transaction in life, um, I think is what the purpose of these is. Um, and so, uh, but without breaking the bank. And so I wanted to put some packs together of some goodies um, that you can get very inexpensively. Um, uh, I've worked a lot on these goodie packs and I've spent a lot of time on them, but I just want them to be something that you can feel like you can still go shopping <laughs> and buy something for yourself to make and create and do in your craft room so that you can have that time to you know, have your little therapy session, so to speak. So let me show you the packs and please understand that this video and these packs, it's not to make money. I mean, yes, I have to put them in the shop for a price, um, but it's more to, um, uh, it's more of an effort to try to bring some normalcy to the craziness that is in the world today. And, you know, to kind of give you a, um, that feeling um, of peace in knowing that, you know, you can do something as simple as this and you can get in your craft room and you can make something beautiful and and that everything's going to be okay. So um, I'll show you what's in the packs and, and then once uh, the video is released, you'll be able to run over to the shop and grab a pack and have some fun with it. So I'm going to call these my pocket packs. Um, and hang on and let me, I'm going to grab a couple of pockets to show you uh, what's in here. Okay, so I'm going to kind of scooch these over to the side. So that I can clear out a spot for you to be able to see what's in the pocket packs. Okay, so this is a sample of a pocket pack and uh, not here. here's how they'll come to you. Okay, you're in a really pretty little package, and they'll come to you all packaged up nice and neatly um, for you to grab them and be able to play with them. Okay, and so I'll show you what's in this pack. So in this pack, I think this is 25 pieces in this pack. Okay, and so you're going to get, I made some pockets, and I'll show you the ones I made, or some of the ones that I made. So these are those pockets, you know, with the little four pockets. Um, that you can make and then I just basically put some napkins on them to de decorate them you can do them with napkins you can be as elaborate or as simple as you want to be with them um, so just a few examples uh, to show you what I did with them and then there's this type of pocket which is just like the I think I heard somebody call it a burrito pocket um, you know, and so I just kind of decorated them up with napkins 
or stickers. Um, some of them I've put, you know, paper and little embellishments on in the center. Um, I think one of them has a button on it. But it's just something simple and easy to play with. And you can put them in your journals and um, have some ready-made pockets available to play with and put in your journals. And then I also, now I sprayed all of these. Um, I took um, um, an old book page, uh, old book that I had that had just book pages, and I took all the pages out and I sprayed them all um, with my ink sprays and then let those dry. And then, you know, I don't know if you can see the shimmeries in some of them. And then that's when I went back and I added my napkins. And I also had, these were just scrap pieces that I sprayed. And what I do with these is I take these and I make little booklets out of them. And so normally I'll take like two of them and put them in a booklet with a couple of other, um, you know, like plain sheets and then put um, a piece of cardstock as the cover. And you've got a cute little booklet um, to put in your journals. So, um, in this first little pack, um, this is the pocket pack. Uh, we'll call this one the stuffed pocket pack um, because this pocket is stuffed for you, okay? So, in this pack, you're going to get four of the ink sprayed uh, little four pockets. You will get one of the pockets that has napkin already on it. Then you will get two sheets of the ink sprayed sheets to make a little booklet with. I also put you two napkins in the um, pack so that you have napkins if you don't have pretty napkins and each one has different napkins. They're not all the same. Of course not, you know, I couldn't make all the packs identical or exactly the same. So, you know, even with the napkins, the pocket that has the napkins already on it, um, they'll be different. Like this one has, I don't know if you can see it, but it has roses on this one. Um, and this one has little poppies. You know, so it's, and this is a different napkin. And I, th I don't know if you can see here, but this is a little bit of a different napkin. So it's going to have, you know, different things in it, but basically all the same stuff. Really pretty napkins for you to do um, your decoupaging on your little booklet. Um, or your little pockets or whatever. Just something fun to play with. And then one of the little four-piece pockets. So um, the little four-pocket pockets. <laughs> the four-pocket pockets. Um, one of them I stuffed for you. Just to kind of give you an idea of what it would look like in on your journal page. And so let me just grab a journal here real quick. So you can just take this little pocket. And you can just place it on a page like this. And how pretty is that? You know, you can close it up. You've got the little things coming out the top. So let me show you what all is in the pocket. So inside the pocket, um, I just did a video on making mass tags from your six by six paper pads. And so I've put um, three of those tags in the pocket in, you know, in different little pockets. You get a guest check. You're going to get a couple of these claim check tickets, and then you get five stamps here um, in the little bottom pocket. I love putting the stamps in the little bottom pocket because they're just the perfect size to go into that pocket. And so I just kind of wanted to give you something real fun to play with. And then each pack has five of these book pages because these book pages are super fun um, to use your napkins to decoupage on them and decorate in them. You can sew this up and make it an actual pocket or you can make this a book page in your journal or however. And it's basically, these were, you know, basically just to kind of give me a base in the pack. And so what I did was I just slid them in the pack like this to give me a base. Um, to put everything else in and make it very pretty for you. And so this is the final pocket, this uh, the final stuffed pocket pack that you'll be able to get in the shop. So hang on a second and let me put this one back together and I'll bring in the next um, pocket pack. It's a not stuffed pocket pack um, for those of you who just want something a little more simple. So hang on a second. Okay, so the next little pack will come like this. This is how you'll see them in the shop. And they're basically the same as what's in the stuffed pocket pack. And the only difference is you don't have the stuffed pocket. So these are a little less, and they're a little cheaper of a pack. And they don't have, um, in them, they don't have the little 
um, sprayed sheets to make the booklet. So these are just strictly pocket packs. Okay, so let me show you real quick what's in these. So you get four of the sprayed pockets. So there's one, two, three, and I tried to give them, you know, in different colors. And again, you may have different napkins in here. You may have different colors um, on your, your pockets and things, but it's generally the same. And then you get two napkins. See, here's um, an example of a couple of the other napkins that I might have in one of these packs. And then again, you get the five sheets um, that you can decoupage on or make pockets out of, or you can fussy cut them if you wanna fussy cut the flowers out. However, so these are just the plain pocket packs uh, versus the stuffed pocket packs. And then I have one more little pack that I wanted to show you. Hang on for me just one second. Okay, the last little pocket pack that I did was I did these little booklets. Um, I do a lot of my kits in these, and these can be considered like a little kit, if you want to call it that. But they're just little fun packs um, that I've stuffed with some vintage and not vintage um, goodies in here for you. And I've also put you three of those um, tags that I did um, using the, um, the mini or not the mini, but the six by six paper pack. Um, so let me just show you what all is going to be in this pack. So you're gonna have, you got the little envelope and this can be used as a pocket in your journal. If you want to, you can cut it in half and it can be two pockets in your journal. Um, each one is a double pocket on each side. And then I've stuffed the pockets with all kinds of goodies. So in this one, you're gonna get some new stamp, like little tags. Hopefully I'm focusing. And then you're gonna get some of these vintage um, British bus tickets. And this is a Czech Czechoslovakian ticket. You're gonna get several um, of the vintage stamps. Um, some, you know, are a little more vintage than others, but you're gonna get like a little handful of stamps. I think there's 10 in each packet. And then you're gonna get, you know, like a claim check and, um, like a little strip of tickets, just, you know, some fun things to play with in your journal. Um, and I'm, again, I have made these very inexpensive for those of us who are trying to save our pennies, um, but we still wanna have something fun to play with and something to do in our craft room. And so I have stuffed this with lots of little goodies, um, vintage and new for you to be able to play with in your journal. Okay, and then each in the, this front bottom pocket, you're going to get one of these little um, slides with the like the photo negative in there. Get a couple of vintage playing cards, and again, they may not all be the same. Um, these are those vintage Rolodex cards. There's five in this pocket. Again, one of my mass tags, and that you can decorate with. Um, this is um, a piece of a farmer's almanac from 1925. And so it's super cool to cut it up and use it for decoupage or whatever you wanna use it for. You get a doily, um, it may not be blue, it may be a different color, but some kind of doily. And then a, a guest check, all in that front pocket. So these are stuffed. And then in this top pocket, you're gonna get um, several journaling cards. Now, if they're the bigger journaling cards, you get uh, a couple of them, but if they're the smaller journaling cards, I put you know four or five in there just to kind of even it out. And then you get one of these. Um, it's either gonna be like a plant card or a recipe card, something to that effect. But um, again, not that all of them can be exactly the same, but they are very similar, okay? Hang on a second. Okay, and so in the bottom pocket on this side, you have one of the little mini tags from my six by six pads, paper pads. You're gonna get five of these little miniature Rolodex cards, and these don't have anything on them. A couple of vintage playing cards. They may be different. This is from um, a, a very, very old little notebook that I got. It's um, uh, where a little guy did his homework. I think he was in college. Um, but it's in, um, some of them are in different languages, but it was just super cool. And I thought it was fun to add in there for collage or what have you. Uh, then you're going to have either a recipe card or like a children's game card. Uh, it's, you know, recipes children can make or a plant card. 
something to that effect in that first pocket and then you'll get one of these little coin envelopes or seed packs that you can play with decoupage um, these packs would go really well with the pocket packs because you have the napkin that you can play with you get a couple of these little pink and um, vintage message cards um, so that's all in the bottom pocket and then in the top pocket you're going to get one of the larger tags that I made from that paper pack um, you're going to get this is a 1956 vintage Yahtzee score sheet and then um, you get a uh, one of the long time cards so that is what comes in this side of this little pocket pack um, we'll call this one the fold and pocket pack and that way you'll be able to differ differentiate um, which is which which you'll be able to see that in the listing anyway so um, but um, so I just kind of wanted to show you hang on a second so I just wanted to kind of show you I mean and like I say they won't all be exactly the same but very very similar similar items so um, I have different ones, you know, different pocket packs. Um, so, you know, it may not all be the same, you know, on the outside either. Um, but you can kind of see in this little pack and um, the different, you know, the little minute differences, you know. So, um, so these will be available in the shop. And then I have two of these that are completely different from these. And they are absolutely stuffed full. I just had enough stuff to make two of these. Um, I think there, there's a, quite a few more of these, maybe eight or ten, that'll be going into the shop. But these are just absolutely stuffed with all kinds of goodness. Um, you've got journaling cards. They have a lot of the similar things that are in there. Um, but you have journaling cards added to it. You have score sheets added to it. Um, sometimes a little bingo card or a Quizmo card, um, another little envelope, some um, larger scorecards um, or bridge score pads or whatever, um, a couple more guest checks. So there's just more goodies added into this. And these two don't have the tags that I made from the 6x6 um, six six paper packs. Like this one has a German um, vintage German label in it. You know, so um, just some different little vintage items um, that are in these two packs as well. So I'll put these in a separate listing so you know which is which. So anyways, um, that is what I wanted to share with y'all today. Um, I know that a lot of my friends on Etsy are struggling because, you know, everybody is holding on to their pennies. And so not a lot of people are buying things right now. And that's okay, because I know God's going to take care of us. Um, he's going to get us through this. But I just kind of wanted to do something that would give y'all some fun stuff that you can snatch up um, and play with and not feel guilty. Everything, every little pack you see here is less than $10, okay? So there'll be different prices, and I'll have them listed in the Etsy listings. But I just thought, you know, anybody can can splurge and spend ten dollars on themselves and you deserve it okay i want you to understand that it's okay if you spend ten dollars that's okay and it's not that i want you to spend it here in my shop i mean yes i would love for you to spend it here in my shop because honestly my shop is dead right now um, along with a lot of my other etsy friends that i've talked to um, everybody's etsy shops are dead and so um, we're all struggling too, you know, but we're keeping the faith and this community, we're going to stick together and we're going to do what we need to, to help each other. So if you've got $10 that you can spend and you don't see something here, um, you know, that you would particularly want, hey, go to somebody else's shop and spend your $10, you know, um, help your friends, um, support your friends. Um, and at the same time, if I can do the same thing, I'm going to, I'm going to different shops and seeing, you know, if there's little things that I can get, you know, that would just give a little bit of something to, to each person, um, that I'm, you know, trying to support. Of course, you know, one person can't support everybody, but this community is a wonderful community and I know we're going to support each other. We're going to have each other's backs. We're going to hold each other's hands through all of this and we're going to make it through. So don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. Don't get discouraged. Everything's going to be okay, I promise. Okay, I have a pretty good source. My big, 
my big father God, he says it's all going to be okay. All right. Um, he doesn't always say it's going to be easy, but it is going to be okay. So just hang in there. If you need anything, let me know. I am here for you. I love you. Keep the faith. Stay strong. And wash your hands. <laughs> All right, y'all. I love y'all so much. I hope this finds everybody doing really, really well. And I hope that you can find a shop that you can support, even if it's just $10 or less. You know, that in itself will encourage those shop owners that, hey, it, you know, it's not the end of the world. Somebody is buying something, you know. So let's all support each other, love each other. Be kind to one another. Don't hoard other than craft supplies. You can hoard craft supplies because we're all craft supply hoarders. But y'all know what I mean. So anyways, I love y'all real big. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope y'all have a great day. Big hugs.